Welcome to CTN Videos. Today we have a review of Evernote 5 for Mac. There's over a hundred features in this app. I'm just going to be going over a couple of them, the most useful ones. So let's start with shortcuts. As you can see, I have two shortcuts up here. And you can do that by cl clicking on something and dragging it all the way up to here. And I'm going to put that in the shortcuts area. I have a notebook here and it has a notebook icon. And then if you have a note, it'll show you a piece of paper to just tell you that it's a note. If you want them out of here, you drag it out of there and it shows you an icon of just a puff of smoke. And it goes away like that. Let's go to notebooks now. Notebooks is a completely new layout. It has icons that look very similar to notebooks and is really easy to navigate through. Also, if you have noticed so far that it's not very similar to the iOS 5, iOS Evernote 5, it's completely different, it's more tuned to a computer version, and that makes perfect sense with me. It's made for the mouse, not for a touchscreen, which I really like, because some app makers do make a computer app that was based on a touchscreen app, and it's hard to navigate through. There's also Atlas here that will show you the location of where a note was tagged. It's really nice because if some people took a note in, let's say, Spain, they can know exactly where it was taken. Very similar to iPhoto's geotagging for the photos. And all notes. Now, if you just tap all notes here if you're in a notebook, and it shows you all of your notes. Now, this is a really nice feature and a really clean new layout compared to the old, more of snippet view, like that. The card view is really nice and shows you a lot more of the note. So if you have just a little bit in the note, you can just read it throughout the snippet. You can also organize them in different ways, like an expanded card view, a snippet view as I just showed you, and a list view. Don't know who would really like to use this list view, but it's there and it gives you a nice variety. You also have tags, so you can create tags. It's not much, not very new from the last version, but it's there with a little bit new design. You also have trunk, and if you haven't heard of it, it just has multiple apps that work with Evernote and that are made by the company. So it's not very useful unless you really want to use Evernote like Word. And the new search is very similar to Apple's Mail app. So if you search something like school, it's going to show you notebooks and tags. If you go down, it sometimes will give you suggestions, science study, science study, science study guide 2. gives you really nice suggestions and is really easy to find something really quick. And now let's go to the organization of everything. If you look, it's just really neat, really clean and crisp. The, you have a sidebar right here that is really easy to use. You have notebooks, tags, atlas, and trunk, as I showed you all of these. And it's really easy to access whatever you want. Compared to the last version where you had pretty much everything all up here, and it was kind of hard to find, the last version was just one color, this color gray. Now it's kind of multiple colors, so it makes it pop out and easier to use. Let's go to the note editor. So you can have a note, and if you double click on it, it pulls up this really nice note editor. It's kind of like Word. It has lots and lots of options compared to some other notes apps, like Apple's note app on iOS. You have the left justify, center justify, and right justify. You have bold, italicize, and underline. And then you have the color of the underline. Also, if you type in links, it'll change it to a link, and then you can click on it. Just like that. Really nice. You can also record audio files, pictures, and attach a file if you would like. Now, if you're running Mountain Lion or Lion, you also have a new the feature that was in the last version, but it, it seems to work better in this version. Full screen. In the last version, when you went to full screen, it would kind of cut off it, cut off some of the application, 
thinking that it's still in the smaller screen group size. So it's really nice, and then you can just customize it to whatever you want. And there's a glitch right there as I've, I've experienced. Is it? Is when you when you it has a problem with Evernote is when you f expand it, it has glitches and thinks that it's still in the smaller mode. So thank you for watching CTM videos. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like it. We post multiple videos every week.